Yo, what is up everybody? Chuck here and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. We're going to be counting down the 10 rarest Pokemon from Generation 2 in Pokemon Go. Now the reason we're doing this video is because I've had so many people send me messages saying, Hey Chuck, I found this Pokemon. I don't know what it is. Is it rare? It was a Hoot Hoot. That's not rare. So the point of the video is to give you guys kind of like a reference point as to what's rare and what isn't from Generation 2. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now before we move on to the top 10, I wanted to give an honorable mention to Fortress. Now Fortress evolves from Pineco, which is hatched from a 10k egg. I would compare it to a Kabuto, Kabutops type deal from Generation 1. And Kabutops was always on the brink of like kind of rare, pretty rare, not really sure. So that's why it's kind of on the bubble. Honorable mention to Fortress. Believe me, if you see one, it's really cool, but I don't think it fits into the top 10. Without further ado, at number 10, we've got Hitmontop. Now, the reason Hitmontop makes the list is because I used to see so many Hitmonchans and Hitmonlees when Pokemon Go first came out. I have not seen a single Hitmontop. I have not heard of anything anywhere near my area. And you can't directly hatch it like you could with a Hitmonlee and a Hitmonchan. You've got to hatch a Tyrogue and hope you get lucky and hope that its stamina is its best attribute and then evolve it and get a Hitmontop. Not so easy and definitely not easy to come across in the wild, so that's why it's number 10. Moving on to number 9, we've got Mantine. Now, Mantine, obviously, if you live close to the ocean or if you live in an aquarium, you should probably move out. But if you do live in an aquarium, you probably see quite a few Mantine. For the rest of us across the entire country who don't have water in their backyard, we don't see very many of them. Now, it hatches from a 10k egg, and you can normally use the egg chart as sort of a basis for what's rare and what isn't. If it hatches from a 10k, obviously that and its evolved form is rare. It doesn't have an evolved form. I would compare it to something like an Aerodactyl from Generation 1, maybe a little bit less rare than Aerodactyl was. Neither of them are all-stars and gyms, but they're both pretty useful, so that is why it makes the list. If you find one in the wild, send it in. Moving on to the 8th rarest Pokemon from Generation 2, we've got... Donphan. Now, I would compare its rarity to that of Muck from Generation 1 because it has an unevolved form that hatches from a 5k egg, and we have no idea where it spawns. I live in a desert, mountain, plains type biome, and I haven't seen it. I haven't seen its unevolved form, Fampy, in the wild either, and that seems awfully reminiscent of Muck and Grimer because when people would ask me, hey Chuck, I need to find a Grimer so I can get my Muck, where do I find it? My answer was always, I have absolutely no clue. It's also a very useful Pokemon, so if you do come across from the wild, consider yourself pretty lucky. Now moving on to the seventh rarest Pokemon from Generation 2 in Pokemon Go, we've got the Generation 2 equivalent to Porygon. I don't mean Porygon 2, Girafferig. Now Girafferig hatches directly from a 5k egg, so most of you guys are probably like, Chuck, you're an idiot. It's not rare, but it is. And just like the Pokemon before it, the reason I would consider it rare is because you just don't know where to find it. I live near the mountains. I live where Ponyta spawned non-stop everywhere. And you would kind of assume that Drafferig would spawn in the same area, and it doesn't. So if you guys know where it is, you've caught one, help some people out, leave a comment below saying where you caught it, what town it was, what biome you live in. But moving on to the sixth most rare Pokemon from Generation 2, we've got Blissey. Yes, you can find a Blissey in the wild in case you guys were not aware. It is the evolved form of Chansey. Now, Chansey was pretty rare from Generation 1, but it definitely wasn't the rarest of the 10k eggs. However, it does appear that Blissey spawns much less frequently than Chansey did, and that's probably with good reason because if you've ever encountered a Blissey in a gym, they are an absolute pain in the ass. That being said, they simply just don't spawn very frequently in the wild in any biome. So that's why it makes the countdown. But moving on to the top five, and I think there was a pretty dramatic drop off between the top five and six through 10 in terms of rarity. The reason I say that is because you've probably seen at least one of the Pokemon that I just named in the wild at some point since it was released last Thursday. But of the five that I'm about to name, there's a really good chance you haven't seen any of them. So at number five, the fifth rarest Pokemon in Pokemon Go from generation two, We've got Togetic. Now, there are a couple reasons for this. Number one, it has the lowest catch rate of all Pokemon in Pokemon Go at 1%. Regardless of what ball you use, it has a 1% chance of being a successful catch. So if you do come across one and you do throw 84 Ultra Balls at it and you finally catch it, congratulations. You're part of the 1%. But that's not all. Another reason that makes it incredibly rare is because you can't catch a Togepi in the wild, which means in order to get a Togetic, you either have to be part of the 1%, which is not easy to do, or get lucky and hatch a couple Togepies, or walk 8,000 kilometers to get your Togetic. It doesn't seem easy because it is not easy. And that is why it's at number five, although I have a perfect one, so maybe I should shut up. But moving on to the fourth rarest Pokemon from Generation 2, we've 
we've got a three-way tie, and you could probably guess which three Pokemon they are. The three fully evolved starter Pokemon. Typhlosion for Alligator and Meganium. Now, on par with how it was with Generation 1, Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, these are about equally as rare to find in the wild. Now, I'm sure there's a few of you guys out there who've encountered, like, five for Alligators, but it's because you live in a swamp, you need to find a home. Can't really argue with those three being in this countdown, so moving on to number three, the third rarest Pokemon from Generation 2, Ampharos. Now, if you recall from Generation 1, there was one Pokemon that had a three-stage evolution that was hatched from 10k eggs, and that was the Dragonite family. In Generation 2, we have two such families, the first of them being the Mareep, Flaffy, Ampharos. Now, it was tough to not put this one at number one because I haven't had anybody send in a sighting of an Ampharos yet, so if you've seen one, what are you doing? Send it to me. Definitely comparable to the Dragonite family from Generation 1, although it doesn't seem to be as cool of a Pokemon, so people kind of look at it as not being as rare. However, I haven't even found a Mareep yet. If that gives you any idea, I've caught a Tyranitar, which brings us to number two, the second rarest Pokemon in Generation 2, Tyranitar. And I would even go as far as to say that Pupitar is equally as rare as Tyranitar. Now, I know some people are going to call me insane for putting Pupitar up here with Tyranitar. However, there are a ton of Larvitars and no Pupitars. Hell, I caught a 3,000 plus CP Tyranitar before I even had a sighting of a Pupitar. And just like Ampharos and Dragonite from Generation 1, it has a three-stage evolution that can be hatched from 10k eggs. However, I would actually argue that Tyranitar is more rare than Dragonite, but Larvitar is less rare than Dratini. I'm not really sure the reason behind it, but that seems to be the case right now. That being said, if you find a Tyranitar or a Pupitar in the wild, consider yourself incredibly lucky, like the second luckiest person in the world, because at number one, we have the rarest Pokemon from Generation 2, and I'm sure you guys are all aware of it by now, Unknown. Now, there are 26 different variations of Unknown in Pokemon Go, one for each letter of the alphabet, and they are spread across the entire world, and to the best of my knowledge, not all of them have been found yet. Now, there is a badge in Pokemon Go that requires you to catch 10 unique unknowns. Now, here's the thing. People have caught unknown. However, I've never actually seen a screenshot of it on a sightings list, at a Pokestop, anything like that. So maybe it just flies under the radar. Either way, it is the rarest Pokemon in Pokemon Go. So if you find one, you're lucky. If you find two, you're cheating. If you find three, send me your address for moving in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you out a little bit next time you're out Poke hunting and you're like, huh, did Chuck say this is a rare Pokemon? Oh my god, he did it because it's a hoot hoot. I love you all. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Take it easy.